I remember laying in bed, having pneumonia, and these hardwood floors were creaking. I was about four to 500 miles away from anyone I loved or who loved me back. And, and Ma was there. We sat and we just sat up and we just looked into the darkness of the apartment. And I just kind of waited. My chest hurt, my throat hurt. It had been about a month. Uh, and I felt tears go down my eyes. And she crawled from under the covers, laid in my lap, tried to lick my face. We slowly got up, hit the, uh, the light on the end table. Nothing was there. Just a creaky floor. I think a lot of my life got into perspective that day. As you can guess, I didn't die. <laughs> Death did not creep into the room and whisk me away. But I remember just thinking in my mind, I've got to get better or this is over. I made this list in my mind of how many paintings I had to make before I died. I think I'd calculated all my favorite artists all together and it ended up being around a thousand. I have no idea how many paintings I'm on now. I stopped counting <laughs> since I got happy. It was hard though. I mean, every painting was a little death. I could feel it, tugging and pulling. I'm telling you this, not as type of a uh, braggeriness of, not a word, not a word. Not as like a gregarious thing of what it is to be a painter, but to let you know that you are not alone in this feeling of sadness and worry. I mean, we all feel it. Uh, as an artist, oftentimes you find yourself kind of in these spots where you don't expect to feel so much. It was explained to me once that because we, uh, we, we are so internal with where we find our creative process, that sometimes we, we give all ourselves into the paint and there's not much of us left for ourselves afterwards. I kind of like that idea. It sounds more sweet than the idea of you're sad because you're you spend all your time trying to make stuff until you feel lonely that whole social aspect the monster that is the artist the social pariah the self-proclaimed social pariah that's so crazy for all the things we do we we constantly find ourselves kind of stumbling over our own feet to just make and feel complete and then feel happy from the completion it's kind of beautiful mm -hmm.